Righto, Wade, thanks for joining us. First of all, can you tell me your name and where you're from? Yeah, Wade Bitcher from Wara, Queensland. Australia. Australia. And can you tell me a little bit about your business? Uh, we're dry land farmers. We grow corn, cotton, sorghum, mung beans, chickpeas, fava beans, wheat. Yeah, you know, we're cracking it. Okay. All dry land. How many acres? Oh, about seven and a half thousand. Right. In total here, we've got another block of condom mines about the same size as well. Right. Great. And what were the problems you were having that you know, made you oh, go look yeah. for a solution? Yeah, water logging is definitely the biggest problem we had here. In a wet year, we could lose at least half our production, at least half, through right. water logging. So we've been land planning over the years to try and fix it, but it just didn't quite take out the depressions we had because our country is just so flat. And uh, so I guess that's what we turned up to service. Right, OK. So you just had, yeah, large depressions throughout the field. Well, shallow depressions. L yeah, large, shallow, quite, yeah, broad, broad shallow through. ones. Yeah. Um, and old plough banks and fence lines all over the place from mm. the old days when there's, you know, dairy farms here. The banks were only 20, 30 acres in size, but, you know, one-way ploughs in those days had the plough banks around all the fence lines. and mm. OK. Only a, 50 mil plough banks into backwater up a long way and drown yep. a lot of crops, so right just couldn't get them out with the land plane. Yeah, okay. And uh, what concerns did you have after you found OptiSurface, if any? Like, were you worried that what, what were you worried, it wouldn't work? Or uh, well, I guess you invest that much money, you're probably always going to be worried it's not going to do the job you want it to do. Yeah. Or I guess I was sort of, sort of concerned that I wouldn't be able to use it to do my own designs. Um, yeah. Cause it sounded like something that was pretty complex. Right. Uh, the, the science behind it all, but no, look, they haven't been a problem. It's just, I found it pretty easy to use, and yeah. yeah, it's just been really good. So, you guys had to invest in, did you have a bucket, a scraper we before that? We had loads of bucket. bucket. Right. We had a trimble gear in it, though, so we did invest right. in trimble gear as well. Yeah, okay. So in the steer and whatnot, so. Yeah, okay. It's, it was a big outlay for us in total. Yeah. Well, I guess the optic service. It was only with 900 bucks for the program, so it wasn't yeah. that much of an outlay, I guess. But yeah, the, we always planned the GPS years gear and mm -hmm. control was the, the biggest outlay. Yeah, sure. Okay, and what were you most impressed by when you started working with OptiSurface? Well, it's pretty simple, pretty simple to use, no doubt about that. And then putting it in the paddock, well, yeah, it's just just magic. You can yeah. just see the way it's. You can see where the old plow banks were. It just pulls them all off and. Puts them in the holes, and I really like how the the land leveling, the the dirt leveling works, whatever you call it. Where you, know, you do a field on grade, and it just just seems to work out. There's no dirt left. Oh, over the earth balance, yeah. Yeah, the earth balance. It's okay. It's yep. Brilliant. Yeah, really good. Right. Uh, haven't had a problem with it. It's been been good. I you know I haven't done like far irrigation paddocks or anything like that, or tried to make roadways through on the edge of paddocks or anything like that with it. But mm. from what I've done, it's been yeah. Been easy as. Now you're you're a mechanical engineer, aren't you? Yeah. So, for the average farmer out there who isn't real handy with a computer, you wouldn't recommend that they design their own fields, um, would you? I don't. Would you recommend know. your old man do it? No, probably not. No, that's right. Yeah, but we're I trying. I wouldn't say he couldn't though. Like he's he's a pretty clever fellow, but yeah, well he's clever, but um, uh, the average farmer. It's, I, I I think. Most farmers probably could if they got their head around it. Yeah, you, just you've got to be handy. I think it's probably getting into it's probably the hardest part, like getting getting yourself believing yeah. that you can do it. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be pretty comfortable with computer to yeah, start. That's, yeah, that's true. You've got, you know. you got to know what you're doing. It's probably hard to answer that question. Yeah, I mean. With my background, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we, we take for granted about operating computers because we grew up with them, but. The old, you know, older generation. Well, I guess what you asked me is, you know, probably any any farmer could tell you the parameters they want, yeah, and you know, where concerns are in the field, yeah. But actually, put that into the computer might be a different story. Yeah, that's so any right. farmer could tell you what how they want to set it up. Yeah, should be able to. You should be able to ask them the right questions, and they'll be able that's to answer right. them. But yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what are the outcomes and benefits that are most valuable to you? Oh, drainage it just feels drained now. Yeah. It's great, yeah. Okay. Big difference. Yep. And oh, yeah, and I mean, for, that, before yeah. that, before that, I mean, the only option was, well, you you did your land planning already, but laser grading, and you just 
they, they were just yeah. doing too much earthworks. To, yeah, I just to don't think that's that. probably an option here because yeah. yeah, land falls away on all different angles, and I just think that would have been pretty hard, too yeah. costly. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, you know, we get benefits from less waterlogging, so higher yields and less denitrification, mm. and yeah, more time and access to paddocks after rain and whatnot. So it's yeah, all good. those benefits you get with mm. better drainage, better surface drainage. Yeah. Okay, and finally, is there anything we can do to improve the service to you, apart from making it free? <laughs> That'd be good, yeah. Yeah, look, I, I haven't got a problem with it. I reckon it's, I reckon yep. it's pretty good. I guess you blokes are working on something in the background to make it all better, I don't. Yeah, we're always improving it, yeah. Um, but what we've done with it, it's, it's been spot on. I guess if you could, one thing you could say is if you could, Make it use a bit less computing power when you're working out fields. Yeah, I guess well, if you're doing small fields, it's no problem. But when you're no, trying yeah. to do a yeah, what, what field? What was that big field you were doing? How many acres was that, or hectares? I think the last one was about sixteen hundred acres, but it just takes forever when you okay. get to a small grid space, and we can't even do it. Yeah, we're doing six, a grid space of about twenty metres, I think. Yeah, most people watching, and you mentioned a six, one field, sixteen hundred acres. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that, 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 that's a number of fields, but that's a block, you know. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, that's. That's right, yeah. And I like Wade was it. doing, um, there was probably six fields made up that one block. That's right. And you were trying to, you'd want one block together so they all they drain through each other. Mm. Yeah, that's right. So it's it's not one field, but but yeah, that's that's the biggest that's the biggest block I've seen in Opie service calculated. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could have I could have done each field individually, but then they wouldn't have tried to drain. It's a bit harder to get block. them to ke- connect up. Yeah, yeah that's so right. That's why I did like that, but. Yeah. Having said that, I've done a couple of fields now on sort of a 20 metre grid space, you know, and it doesn't seem to be a problem. Yeah. I don't know what. Right, eh? Excellent.